Hi, I'm Nana Gill, and I want to be a <laughs> superhero. And the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of sound. Now, I've been thinking if there is one thing that would make baddies run, it's bzzz, bees. Imagine having a swarm of bees chasing you. Bzzz, bzzz. I'd run. I'd run for sure. What about you? Maybe if I could communicate with the bees, I could be their queen and I could command them to help me fight the baddies. Bzzz. In a nice way, of course. I'd say please. Maybe if I could work out how bees made their sound, I could make that sound too and I could talk to the bees. Okay, experiment time. For this, you are going to need cut, tape, scissors, string, pencil, a ruler, two teeny weeny elastic bands, but you can use tape instead, and one big fat elastic band. Okay, first we're going to start by measuring and cutting out two identical cardboard rectangles, and those are six centimeters wide and nine centimeters long. Okay, so those are my two rectangles. I'm going to cut those out. Okay, I'm going to put those two rectangles to the side and now I'm going to do another rectangle. And this one's going to be 15 centimeters long and two centimeters wide. Okay, and now we're going to cut out this very narrow rectangle. Okay, you're going to take your long rectangle and you need to fold it in half down the middle. So you make a long, thin rectangle. And then you're going to line it up onto the edge, the long edge of one of the other rectangles. So here we go. And tape it into place. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. So it's going to look a bit like a butterfly. Yeah, I'm going to take this one on the inside here, like this. Next, you're going to want to maybe decorate it. Now, I like to make this look like a bee. So I've got some yellow paper and you might want to take a black pen and start making some lines so that you can have a B type colouring. You can actually colour in any way you like, so I'll come back to that in a second. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to wrap a small elastic band around each end to keep the two sides folded. So one on this end, and if you don't have little elastic bands, don't worry. You can tape this with some sticky tape. Just make sure it's about the thickness of a rubber band. So maybe one or two millimeters thick. Next, I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Perfect, so it looks like we've got almost like a flappy butterfly here. Okay, next you're gonna take a small snip and you're gonna snip down the middle to your rubber band on both sides and then you want to fold these sides down like this. Now cut a length of string that is as long as your arm, that's not far off, and tie one end around one of your sides of your B. I'll tie it around here, close to where the rubber band is. Usually I like to do a double knot and it's going to look a bit like this. Now the bit that makes the sound is a rubber band. So you want to take your thick rubber band and you want to place it from the top of your folded over T-shape all the way to the bottom like this. There we go, pull my string through. So you've got your rubber band, you've got your string. Next we're going to do our decoration. So I'm going to colour in some stripes and I'm going to stick them to my base here, which is going to make it look like a bee. Here we go. And so there we go, all coloured in and looking just like a bee. Now we know that bees make a buzzing sound and we know that sounds are vibrations, which means that we can hypothesise or guess that bees make their buzz because their wings vibrate. And their wings vibrate so quickly that it makes this sound. The elastic band will vibrate as we spin it. If we spin it quickly enough, and it will be just like how a bee's wing vibrates in its sound. Now you might notice that as you spin it around, the sound changes, and it will change when it's closer to your head versus when it's further away. 
This is the same sound that you may have heard with a police car. Have you ever noticed when a police car goes past you, it, with its sirens on, it goes Nino, 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 Not really. That's an exaggeration. But you may notice that the pitch changes. Or when a car drives past, it might go That is called the Doppler effect. And we're going to hear that with this B. And this is because it's a thing that makes the sound gets closer to you, more of its sound waves hit your ears per second. We call this the frequency. So the more things that hit your ears per second, the higher the frequency. Okay, now it's the moment of truth. Let's see if I can call the bees to come to me and become their queen. No, 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 girl. Um, you have to see this. It's going to be amazing. In fact, why don't you come for a ride? I'm going to stick you onto here. Here we go. Can you hear it? Sounds like a bee. But there's no bees coming. Maybe they didn't hear us and, oh no, Nano Nano Girl's not here either. I wonder where she went. Uh-oh, well, you know what? As always, we will try again tomorrow because scientists never give up. I think I'll just go eat some honey. Mmm, yummy. Bye.